Shakayla Diamond. Um, happy Black History Month. I told you guys that um, every Tuesday and Thursday of this month I will be posting a new video that is now my um, YouTube schedule Tuesdays and Thursdays sometimes a Saturday and a Sunday but every Tuesday and Thursday this month I will be dropping content that is specific to black people in fashion whether it is the people in the history of um, fashion black people in fashion currently and black people upcoming in fashion um, I also said that I might sprinkle some content content in there that isn't necessarily fashion focused but might be some black history i may or may not do that and my the bulk of my channel is based on black people in fashion um but this month we're just going to you know heighten it up a little bit i hope that you find these videos very informative and that you come across some people that you maybe didn't know about and you came across some information that you maybe didn't know about i hope you hear about some people that you might be inspired by that you might you know go check out a little bit more about them and start to follow them on social media maybe that way you have someone to look to that might be doing something that's you wish that you were able to do or that you're striving to do um my goal is just to shed light on black people in the fashion industry because we don't get a lot of light shed on us but we are doing amazing things within the fashion industry and making amazing um strides and uh overcoming huge obstacles and also doing very very great things in these industries we're the people who most of the time are making it happen in the fashion industry um so today this video is going to be about people in the fashion industry that work at magazines fashion magazines some of our favorite fashion magazines that hold great positions i know a lot of the time when we are hearing about people who work at um, fashion magazines it's not usually people who look at who look like us and if it is they're mostly talked about um and they're they work at like ebony or essence which those magazines are great but we also work at you know the vogues and the l's and the marie claire's and the things like that so i wanted to shed some light on some people that are doing great things at these magazines so i hope that you hear about some people that you want to go follow because i am going to have their um instagram names at the bottom of the screen as i talk about them so hopefully you hear some people that you like hopefully like i said you can go follow them on social media maybe this will enlighten you on the fact that you can do this as well because a lot of the times we don't see ourselves in certain positions so we feel like it's not attainable for us so i hope that you know me shedding light on these people show you that it is possible and it can happen for you too so let's just go ahead and get right into the video so first on our list is Lindsay's people people's wagner she is the editor-in-chief at team vogue um, also, I'm just going to name them off and as I said, I am going to post them on the screen, but I'm just naming each person off. It's a lot of them, but I'm just naming everybody off. It's no particular order or anything like that. But um, yeah, like I said, first is Lindsay Peoples Wagner. She is the editor-in-chief at Teen Vogue. Um, next is Kenya Hunt. She is the deputy editor at LUK. Um, next is Chioma Nadi. She is the fashion news director at Vogue.com. Next is Chrissy Rutherford. She is the senior digital fashion editor at Harper's Bazaar. Um, next is Corey Stokes. He is the, the fashion editor at large at High Snobbity. I actually hadn't heard of... Um, her of this magazine it's a digital platform oh also i meant to mention that this video isn't only black people who work at fashion magazines this is also black people who work at you know digital platforms that can kind of be seen as magazines because you know we don't have that many magazines coming out that are printed anymore um but there are a lot of fashion digital platforms that are could be very similar to magazines so just wanted to uh give that out there but yeah Corey Stokes is the fashion editor at large at High Snob Snobiety. 
I think is how it's pronounced. Um, next is Gabriella Karifa Johnson. She's the style director at Garage Magazine. Um, then it's Robin Guyvin. Like I said, if I pronounce anybody's name wrong, it's not on purpose and I apologize. But uh, Robin Guyvin. I believe that's how you pronounce it. She is a fashion critic at Washington Post magazine. Um, next is Rajni Jacques. She is fashion director at Teen Vogue and Allure. She's also the woman that was featured in the um, promo ad for uh, the Farfetch and Balenciaga collaboration on Covator. I mentioned her in the Breaking Fashion News um video that i posted on sunday she is the woman who was featured with her family in the like ad campaign for uh that collaboration next is julie wilson she is fashion and beauty director at essence magazine um danielle prescott she is style director at bt next is maya allen she is digital beauty editor at marie claire magazine Next, we have Jan Michael Kwame. She is style director at High Snob Snobiety. Um, next, we have Kalana Barfield Brown. I've talked about her before in one of my videos. I absolutely love her. She's so stylish, and I just love her overall. Um, but she was the former um, fashion and beauty editor, editor at large at InStyle Magazine. Um, she actually resigned this year, a couple months ago. Um, next is Brittany Dalton. She's the former special events manager at Vogue. Um, Jessica Andrews. She is the fashion features editor at Teen Vogue. I don't know why I'm holding my hands like this. Don't mind me. Um, Channing Hargrove is the fashion writer at Refinery29. Elaine Walter Roth is the journalist and former editor-in-chief at Teen Vogue. She also resigned um, a few months ago as well. You know, when people resign, you know, moving on to bigger and better things. Um, so we wish them both the best of luck. Um, next we have, I'm going to try my best to pronounce this correctly, Nikki Ogunike. Nikki Ogunike. I believe like I said if I pronounce your name wrong it's not on purpose um, hopefully these people are watching this video because I'm saying I hope I don't pronounce y'all name wrong but I don't know if they're gonna watch hopefully they do if they do hey y'all I'm not purposefully pronouncing y'all names wrong but um Nikki Ogunite she's the style director at L.com Next is Gabby Prescott. She is the senior fashion market editor at Bustle. Then we have Samira Nazar. She's fashion director at Vanity Fair. Then we have Edward Info. I've talked about him in one of my videos as well. He's the editor-in-chief of British Vogue. Um, he's actually the first black editor-in-chief for British Vogue. Um, then we have... Nana Agimang or Agimang. She's the social media editor at NY Mag and The Cut. Next we have sorry it's sideways. Um next we have Julia Sar Jamois. She's editor at large at British Vogue. And then we have Yashua Simmons. He is the fashion director at out magazine so 25 people that works at um fashion magazines a bunch of them that we love like vogue british vogue l l uk garage um l.com vogue.com um bustle so a lot of these people hold these very great positions um like i said i will have their 
Instagram names at the bottom as I'm talking as I name them off and their names will also be in the description box so that you can go and follow them on Instagram and like I said hopefully this sheds some light on the fact that we do hold amazing positions and amazing titles at some very great magazines uh, we are behind the scenes doing the work doing the groundwork and making some amazing art and um, producing some amazing creativity and I hope that this allows you to think beyond what your dreams are and dream big and know that you do have the possibility of maybe you know eventually being able to be the editor-in-chief of Vogue or editor-at-large or an editor at whatever magazine that you might want to but it is very much so possible you do have to put that work in um, I'm pretty sure these people work their butts off to get the positions that they have right now and I'm pretty sure that it is not easy to hold these positions especially as black people in the fashion industry it is not easy to um to navigate through this industry when there's a small a smaller percentage of us in this industry and also um the doors don't open as easy for us if at all we probably gotta we have to break them down sometimes sometimes we gotta go through the back door sometimes we gotta go through the window sometimes we gotta come and climb down through the roof you know you never whatever you gotta do to get the job done um but i think getting in a lot of these high positions and things like this in magazines especially the fashion industry because it's really hard to break into the fashion industry honestly because like i always mentioned before there is like an elitist society and like gatekeepers i feel like to who can be let in to what jobs or um, what brands and it's very hard so i feel like you know making connections networking getting the work done so that when you have these opportunities you can show up and show what you have to bring to the table and show that you are you know worthy of this position because you've done the work to get to this point you deserve it just like anybody else but like i said it is harder for us to get these things because we are black because we're looked at like we can only do this certain type of thing or we can only produce this certain type of content or we can only work with this certain but we do have to work 10 times harder to get into these brands and get into these companies but while we have this time that we're trying to get there we have to do the groundwork we have to be the ones that show up all the time we have to be the ones that put in that extra effort to get the job done we have to be the ones who are willing to do what other people aren't willing to do you have to show up with your work ethic on 10 you have to show up with your presentation on 10 you have to show up with your energy on 10 you have to show up with your your overall you on 10 you gotta come and be 10 times yourself because it's 10 times harder for us to get the things that we deserve when like i said before we're just equally we're equally as qualified if not more than everyone else because the fashion comes from us in the first place if we're going to be honest but we do have to work harder we have like they always say we have to work twice as hard just to get the same things and it's not a joke that's very true and it's very serious and i've experienced that a lot myself especially Especially with going to a PWI like we have to work four times as hard to even get the little bit of opportunity or the little bit of recognition that other people get but I really just wanted to show you guys that it is possible to get into these positions you do have to do the work nothing is handed to us you have to be around the right people you have to make the right things happen for you or else those my opportunities might not come but don't feel discouraged don't feel discouraged if they don't come easily because nothing worth having comes easily. Just make sure that you're putting yourself in those rooms and around the people that you should be around to get those positions. Because a lot of the things in the fashion industry are ref are reference based. You do have to have the the credibility and the work ethic behind that reference. But a lot of it is reference based because with a lot of these positions they aren't just you know posting it on indeed they aren't just you know putting it on linkedin like it's not as accessible so you just kind of always have to have your ear to the ground if you meet somebody who's in a position tell them to have their ear to the ground for you too always show up but i'm not saying make friends with the hope to 
benefit from it but if you're putting yourself around those people make sure that you are being friendly that you are introducing yourself and that you are making the most out of being in these surroundings but um like i said before i'm not gonna keep rambling on but i hope that this video allowed you to see that it is possible for us to also work at vogue it's possible for us to be editor-in-chief at magazines and editor at large and editors in general creative directors all that so this is the end of this video like i said the names for everyone will be in the description box but you also have seen it throughout the video as i talk about them and list them off um but thank you guys for watching please turn on your post notifications and also subscribe so that you don't miss any videos because i'm telling you i'm bringing the heat with all of these videos all for black history month because we go up all year we celebrate us all year but in february we just turn it up a little bit so make sure that you are subscribed and that your post notifications are on and give this video a thumb up if you liked it um but thank you for watching and i will see y'all in the next video peace out